Hey, it's Glenn here from Mehab, the world's leading physical therapy alternative, where we educate and empower you to take control of your recovery. Today, we're going to talk about the meniscus. What are they? What do they do? And how to test for a meniscal tear. A meniscus is a piece of cartilage that sits in the knee joint between the femur or thigh bone and the tibia or shin bone. There are two of them, one on the inside of the knee called the medial meniscus and one on the outside part called the lateral meniscus. Their job is to provide shock absorption, disperse forces, help stabilize the knee and lubricate and provide nutrition to the articular cartilage. There are two primary causes of meniscal tears, degenerative and traumatic. Degenerative tears typically occur in middle aged and older adults. Traumatic tears are more often in young patients and are more likely sports related. Traumatic tears are the result of cutting or twisting, hyperextension of the knee, or exposure to a high force. Traumatic tears have a clear mechanism of injury, meaning people know exactly when they did it and will have a sudden onset of symptoms. We're now going to show you some simple tests that you can do yourself to help identify if you have a meniscal tear. These tests are fairly accurate by themselves, but if you have a positive test with more than one, the likelihood of having a meniscus injury is very high. The first test for a potential meniscus tear is tenderness at the joint line. Simply find the space between the, where the femur and tibia meet. It will be a small soft indentation about half a centimeter or a quarter inch in width. Gently press in the space working away from the front and around towards the back on either the inside or the outside of the knee depending on where you have pain. Compare your sensitivity to the other knee to confirm a difference in pain. This test is reasonably accurate for lateral meniscus tears or tears on the outside and slightly less accurate for medial meniscus tears or tears on the inside of the knee. This test is very accurate in diagnosing a meniscal tear. To do this test stand on your painful knee. You can hold on to something to help with balance. Then you're going to bend your knee about 5 degrees and rotate on the knee about 3 times. If that test produces symptoms, there is no need to progress to the next level of this test. If it does not reproduce symptoms, then you're okay to bend your knee to 20 degrees and do it again. A test is positive with a reproduction of pain or locking and catching in the knee. The Aegis test, also called the weight-bearing McMurray, is good at ruling in a meniscal tear and okay at ruling one out. Meaning if you have a positive test, i.e. it reproduces your pain, there is a high likelihood that you have a tear. However, if it produces a negative test, aka no symptoms, it doesn't mean for sure that you don't have a tear. To do the Aegis test, stand with your feet about a foot and a half apart. To test your medial or inside meniscus, rotate your feet out as far as you can and then squat down. To test the lateral or outside meniscus, rotate your feet in and squat down. You're looking for a reproduction of your symptoms. A little side note, most people, regardless of injury or not, cannot perform a full squat in this position. Okay, so what was the verdict? If all or most of these tests were positive, it's almost certain that you have a meniscal injury. But what does that mean you should do? Do you need surgery? Can you recover without surgery? In our next video, we're going to share with you signs and symptoms that would and would not indicate that you need surgery. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.